Hey, this is Larry. I uh, don't post a whole bunch of public service videos, but I thought I'd do this one. So we're coming from Murfreesboro, heading into Smyrna, and this people are coming to our shop. And right now we're in Murfreesboro still, and the name of this road is uh, Broad Street. And now we're New National Highway. Uh, this is the weirdest thing, the, the, the street names, um, and now we're in Smyrna, and in Smyrna, this road now changes to South Lowry, so if you're driving right here, your address is South Lowry, not Broad Street or New National Highway. And the state calls this Highway 4170. Uh, what else do they call this? Um, Murfreesboro Road. Street sign right there says New Nashville Highway. So as you're coming into Smyrna, where we are right now, approaching our shop, be over the next hill. Uh, GPS doesn't lead you right to our shop too well. So when you're coming to our shop, let's see what this street sign says. Oop, there it is. Now we're on South Lowry, begin South Lowry. So today is the last day for winterizations probably. It's gonna uh, go down below freezing tonight and for about five days. It's not gonna get above freezing for the next 10 days. It's gonna be below uh, be in the 30s for high and back to the if you're GPS GPS will send you to the right right there drive around the uh, block and if you're pulling in here to the shop if you're not pulling into our actual facility itself then you're not here and we have two winterizations scheduled already today And I'm sure when I get in, I will find uh, some more on the schedule also. But after today, we're going to go ahead and um, break down our winterizations. Because if it's not done today, it's probably going to be hard to get it done. Um, because tonight's going to be a snow event and we have two, two snow events scheduled for the next 10 days. So uh, today's the cutoff date for the most part. Last year we had over 100 cracked blocks that came in and we normally winterize about 150 boats per year and we've winterized 150 but have about 45 of them from last year we didn't winterize that haven't come in and I expect some of those will look at the weather report and say oh it's time to get our boat winterized but if they don't come in today it's going to probably be it's going to be a problem so anyway I'm going to cut this off and go check our messages see how many other people need to have their boats winterized